Howdy traders. Welcome to the Trader Daily Open. This is episode 24. May 23rd, 2022. Uh, trading is dangerous. Past performance is not indicative of future results. Uh, purpose of this daily update is to take a look at the market shortly after it's open in order to identify areas of significance above and below current price and to see if there's any kind of sentiment perhaps that can be garnered from the open. Um, first, we'll take a look at the economic calendar. Uh, my eyeballs don't see anything from the U.S. today. There is a red from Great Britain at 1015 Central. Uh, Bank of England person is speaking, so... There you have that. Woohoo. Um, looking at the markets in a broad sense, ES is up 0.8, Russell's up 0.6, NQ's up 0.6. So everything seems to be, you know, fairly upward leaning at the moment. Uh, looking at the daily chart, we just had a nasty Friday outside bar, which I'm sure there are plenty of people that went bankrupt on Friday. That's not an easy candle to be trading. So uh, presently, what do we what do we see? Um, well, we opened in the previous candle, and we've broken above the high of the previous candles so up is intact at the moment but again outside bar screams better be very leery here and uh that's what that's what i'm gonna be anyway looking at the rth rth we have a little bit of a gap in the rth it opened gapped up so we're going to just go zing, 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 and boom. We'll go ahead and do that, do that. And we'll move this guy over. So this gap got filled here, so we're not... Let's see if I can click on that. So right there, that got filled. Uh, presently, we have and that gap. These gaps got filled. Okay. So presently, we have this little gap down here from 12 to 2. So we'll see what happens there. We're making a run at this little short-term swing high here. We'll see what happens there. So we're at, at an interesting place. And again, we've had a gap open up. It's come back down. It failed to close the gap. And now we're above and we're threatening to make a little swing new high there. So... That's what's going on on the RTH chart. 50,000 chart. We have uh, a nice impulse up from Friday. And then uh, an inside bar. And now a potential reversal bar. And we have up intact. And... Again, our first short-term target would be at 54. 54, then our next target would be up in the 65, 67 range, followed by 76, followed by 89 or 90. Uh, downward, presently the downward would be at 27.5. 19 and a half. Then we got this our this little gap here. 03 and 98. 
and then all the way down to 77. So there are the identified targets. So at the moment, things appear to be going upward, but I'm not, uh, I'm not sold on that. <laughs> Let's look at what's gone on since the open of trade. We've basically been thrashing back and forth here, and we are presently in a huge consolidation from 55 down to 13, which is plenty big for making what you need to make for today. That's as long as your need to make is uh, reasonable, not unreasonable. If you're thinking you're going to make 50% of your account value, you're nuts. Okay. You can't, we cannot generate money out of the market because we want to generate market money out of the market. That's when we really get in trouble. We need to just be detached from the market, look at what it's going on and be non-controversial and be reasonable and set up for probabilities and then let the market do its thing with low energy and then you'll be successful kind of kind of but if i go into it with the with the mindset that i i have to make five percent or i have to make 20 percent on my account today i will most certainly fail because then if i am even up by five percent on the day which is a heck of a return and I say, oh, I don't have my 10% or 20%. I'm going to trade again. And then I lose it and I blow my account. That's that's not professional. So, okay, enough of the lecture there, huh? So if you're looking for a simple, repeatable, non-controversial techniques that fit in your system, give me a shout at david at remora.academy and be happy to get you going. And with that, thank you for your time and you have a wonderful day today. Thank you.